a theme from the Sears Radio Theater. Tonight's story is a comedy with Andy Griffith as your host. Here's a preview. Well, the children are looking forward to seeing you. Do they know? Are they upset? Mm, yes and no. Well, what was Jeff's reaction? He said, again, and kept eating his cereal. Just like his father. And Carrie, she wanted to know if you were keeping a yacht. The Sears Radio Theater will begin after this message from your local station. Next time you're looking for a car, remember the Olive. Olive Street Road, where Continental Cars is located. You can drive up or down any street and find a place to buy a car. But only on Olive Street Road can you find your MG or Triumph at Continental Cars. Olive Street Road's Continental Cars has the largest selection of MGs and Triumphs anywhere. They're all sporty with emphasis on economy. Make your pit stop on Olive Street Road at Continental Cars. Continental Cars, 8041 Olive Street Road. Continental Cars, largest selection in the Midwest. How many times have you wished for a delicious pizza for lunch, but you can't because your lunch hour isn't long enough? Well, Rockwell's is your answer. You see, at Rockwell's, you can call in your order early. Have a piping hot pizza all ready when you arrive. Well, if you're eating by yourself and you can't eat the whole pizza, Rockwell's features a luncheon special from 11 to 2 daily. A quarter large Sicilian pizza for only 99 cents. Now, that's four pieces of the best pizza you'll ever put in your mouth. Rockwell's can also arrange for private luncheons, bridge parties, group meetings for up to 40 people. Rockwell's, the familiest restaurant in town on Manchester Road in Ellisville, across from Pizza's. I love weddings. The bride is radiant, a groom a picture of manliness. It's one of life's wonderful moments, which Elaine Carmichael has repeated more than once. But I'm, I'm getting ahead of our story. First things first. blanket. Oh, I'll remember that. No. Oh. Hello. Sweetie, did I wake you? Yes. Wonderful news. What is it, Mother? I left Walter Carmichael. Good. I'll arrive in Los <sighs> Angeles about 2.30 tomorrow. Global Flight 16. Be an angel, pick me up. All right. Talk out, darling. Who was it? Elaine, my crazy mother. Oh, what happened? She's left, Walt. Oh, no. She'll be here tomorrow. Oh, Roger, don't go to sleep. Susan, I'm exhausted. Roger, this is terrible. Talk about it in the morning. Is she getting a divorce? I suppose so. Oh, poor Elaine. She must <sighs> be beside herself. <sighs> Go to sleep. How can you be so unconcerned? Because we've been through this before. Walt was... is... Her fifth husband. Was she upset? Of course not. She's going to keep doing it until she gets it right. Five husbands. And that's only the beginning of our story. A new adventure in radio listening. Five nights of exceptional entertainment every week. Brought to you in Elliot Lewis' production of the Sears Radio Theater. Our story, Here Comes the Bride, again, by Ken Gerard. Our stars, Harriet Nelson, Elliot Reed, and Linda K. Henning. The Sears Radio Theater is brought to you by Sears Roebuck and Company. Sears, where America shops for value. I sell draperies at Sears. Yesterday, a lady came in and said that she'd been in and out of about every store in town looking for draperies and at this point didn't know what she wanted anymore. I asked questions about her tastes and decor and then made suggestions. She was thrilled. She found what she wanted and learned a little too. It made me feel good to know that I helped her out. Sears people are friendly people who help you find what you want. ruffle up a window with tradition from Sears' open hearth collection. Our inheritance Cape Cod curtains have plenty of big fluffy ruffles for that traditional New England look that's become an American favorite. They're an easy care permapressed fabric made from 65% Codell polyester and 35% cotton. Completely machine washable. Choose from 14 distinctive colors, one of the largest selections to be found anywhere. 
So carry on a decorating tradition. The Cape Cod Look from Sears. Available at most larger Sears retail stores. Light up your life and home during Sears National Home Lighting Sale. Rack up savings. $50 on a crystal glass chandelier. $10 on a country kitchen fixture. Save $3 on utility room lights and more. Sears has light fixtures on sale for your living room, bedroom, rec room, and hallways, too. The savings are hot, but they stop July 21st, so score now. Sears National Home Lighting Sale. Let it make your life and home a whole lot brighter. Dates may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. At most larger Sears retail stores. In all fairness, Elaine Carmichael's marital record is not that horrendous. It's true she divorced Roger's father in 1951, but they parted friends and grew during the ensuing years to understand each other better than when they were married. Anyway, she married Peter Markham in 1954. However, he suffered a fatal fall off a polo pony in 61. Elaine consoled herself by marrying Charles Williamson in 63. However, while he peered over the rim of a volcano in Hawaii, you know, Anyway, she found sympathy with Armand de Champlain in 1967. But that was armed combat. Four years later, it was over. A period of recovery followed, and then she married Walt Carmichael in 73. Now you're up to date. Oh, yeah. Coming up, a scene in an airport. Stop pouting. I'm not pouting. I want you to be civil. She's probably in a state. No, she's going to a state. Nevada. Why must you make such a production? Because every time I give her away, they send her back. Well, that's not fair. She's been unlucky. The business with Armand was painful. Right. She buried her sorrows by running off with Walt. Connecticut's answer to Magellan. He was her symbol of security. As was the mansion in Palm Beach, the yachts, and his bank. She didn't marry him for his money. You don't marry for money. You divorce for money. That's cool. I handled the Armand de Champlain debacle. You know what she received. Two paintings. Big deal. Merely Renoirs. Trifles. Besides, she had a prenuptial agreement. The pictures or his island off the French coast. She should have taken the island. I agree. She could have started her own Elba for widows and divorces. <laughs> You're making her sound like an ogre. She just can't stay married. Or divorced. Or widowed. Take your pick. You've never been a woman. Not lately. Right now, she needs our help. We have to provide stability. Become her rock and her staff. Mm, aptly put, wedding staff. The whole family turned out for the last gala. Jeff carried the ring. Carrie was the flower girl. You were the matron of honor. And I, <laughs> I was the perpetual donor. It was a lovely wedding. They're all lovely weddings. Don't be snide. No, I'm just slightly jaded. I recall celebrating our first anniversary at Elaine's third wedding. Oh, it was a wonderful party. Yeah, they all got looped and started throwing food. <laughs> Remember the potato salad in your hair? <laughs> all too well. That idiot Chuck Williamson. A 60-year-old going on nine. Oh, you enjoyed yourself. Self-defense. Really? Shaking up the champagne bottles and squirting the best man? <laughs> mm, that was a good wedding. Elaine had the best time. She always does. The eternal bride. Don't be a sourpuss. I'm not just that I'm getting tired of these midnight calls as she's brimming with news. It's like a game show. Guess what happened to hubby? You don't empathize. Elaine covers her hurts with a carefree facade. Hmm. Aren't we the sidewalk psychologist? I feel for her. I draw the papers for her. I can do a probate in my sleep. It's your duty. Well, I'm not a domestic relations attorney. You should be. Maritime law is boring. But lucrative. Law's law. Sink a ship, get divorced. It's the survivors that count. You just dismissed my entire career. I didn't. You did? Did not. It's starting. Now, you see, every time Elaine arrives, we are... Oh, we're not. We are. Aren't. Truce. You're putting me in a bad mood. See, this is the effect that she has on us. Oh, Roger, I, I can't help being intense. She's probably quite upset. Oh, please. I thought Walt would be the real love of her life. He was. For 1973. How can you be so indifferent? Look, we've been married 16 years, correct? Yes. Elaine's been married 42 years to five different men. I have been the ring bearer and the donor. After a while, you become indifferent. When were you the ring bearer? 1954. For the Peter Markham story. A beautiful ceremony. The bride cried, the groom cried, and my father was hysterical with happiness. You were 15? Mm-hmm. Did Elaine make you wear a velvet suit? 
Well, she did. Oh, you must have looked charming. Now, you're <laughs> evading the issue. Her average length of marital bliss is eight years. Do you expect me to greet her all misty-eyed? I expect you to be more sensitive. Sensitive? I'm numb. Global Flight 16, arriving at gate number 42. Finally, here's her plane. Now smile. I will. Here comes the divorcee. Tra-la-la-la-la. <laughs> It's that time of year, America. Sears National Home Appliance Sale is on. Celebrate great savings on many Sears major home appliances. Save from $20 to $100 on selected Kenmore washers and dryers, refrigerators, dishwashers, color TVs, microwave ovens, vacuums, and more. So save big and hurry to Sears National Home Appliance Sale now. The sale ends July 28th. Dates may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. Kenmore, solid as Sears. You must. Sears House Paint Sale is here. You'll save three dollars on each gallon of Sears paint. Just six ninety nine for interior flat and ceiling paint. Only seven ninety nine for exterior flat and interior semi gloss paint. And it's one coat only paint when used as directed. I'm saying. Sears Paint Sale ends July twenty first. Prices and dates may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. Here they come. More value from Sears. Like a dollar forty four pull on shorts and a dollar ninety nine tank top for women. They're colorful polyester tank tops that slip on neatly over the double knit nylon shorts. Shorts with elastic waist and stitch front creases. Just watch them go. Sears a dollar forty four shorts and a dollar ninety nine tank tops for women. All set for action. Hurry in while quantities last. Prices may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. All items available at most larger Sears retail stores. Now, here I am. Yeah. Now, where we were was in an airport. Waiting for Roger Matthews' mother to arrive from Florida. The planes landed, and what we're about to witness is what we in the entertainment business call an entrance. How it works is you set up a character. Tell about how important it is that he or she gets there. Because the story you're following with such great interest can't move another step until this character I'm talking about arrives. We can see how it's all worked out by recalling what's happened up to now and by watching to see what's going to happen next. Well, the fateful moment is at hand. Susan expects the worst, a distraught Elaine. But Roger, he's a little skeptical. And you, if you're anything at all like me, you just want to meet this fabulous lady everybody's been talking about. Well, there she is. Super. Yoo-hoo, Roger, Susan. Smile, Roger. Elaine? I'm here. Oh, oh you look no, wonderful. <laughs> Not bad for 62, huh? Don't even breathe it. <sighs> I don't. This year I'm 43. <laughs> you could pass for 35. The miracles of cosmetic surgery. It was a fortune but worth every penny. How is my brilliant son? Fine. Bad mood. No kidding. How are you? Are you all right? It was ghastly. It was one of the most horrible experiences of my life. See, Roger? Did Walt get violent? Walt? Oh, I'm talking about the service in first class. See, Susan? Domestic champagne, a minuscule filet mignon. It was the pit. And the topper, I sat next to the most boring woman. A nuclear scientist. So dowdy. One more word about neutrons. Well, I'd had to change seats. I thought it was going to scream. I said to myself, babe, she has got to go. But the flight was entirely booked. How did you change seats? I sat in the cockpit. <laughs> Roger, you must learn to fly. So exciting. All those dials and blinking lights. You were at the controls? Not the whole time. How long are you staying? I'll tell you after I have my horoscope done. There she goes. Bye-bye, darling. Nice chatting with you. Have a good time in Hollywood. What a pill. That's the woman? Yes, and she should fix herself up. My surgeon could do wonders that no... Mother, she happens to be Dr. Catherine McIntyre, a Nobel Prize winner. No wonder she's single. She's world-renowned. Not for her chic. <laughs> Lord, if she's the future, we're in for the plain Jane look. Oh. <laughs> Let's get your bags. Oh, everything's right here. In your cosmetic case? A veritable treasure chest. Bank books, checkbooks, jewelry, and skin toner. It's my escape kit. The Houdini of marriage. You are in a rotten mood. Don't mind him. Uh, what's in the flight bag, Cash? Oh, Tiffany. I forgot all about him, poor thing. Who? Oh, such a good puppy. Say hello to your family. <laughs> Isn't he sweet? What is that? A rat? 
A Yorkie. Walt gave him to me for protection. A subtle death wish. Roger. Poor Tiffany. He's taken this episode so badly. Must be jet lag. Well, back in the sack, Tiffany. Sleepy time. We'll get your room service at the hotel. Hotel? I thought you'd stay with us. Oh, no. You're not sticking me in the suburbs. I'd never meet anybody. Mother, that's ridiculous. All arranged. All arranged. I spoke with the hotel last night. Well, the children are looking forward to seeing you. Do they know? Are they upset? Mm, yes and no. Well, what was Jeff's reaction? He said again and kept eating his cereal. Just like his father. And Carrie? She wanted to know if you were keeping a yacht. Well, there's hope for her. Susan, I met the most divine young man for her in Palm Beach. Wonderful clear skin for that age. <laughs> Franklin Crown's grandson. The family tree is impeccable. What a pair. Mother, she's only 14. I'm thinking of her future. Oh, look, now why must we stand here? We'll take you to the hotel. I'm waiting for someone. I don't believe it. Oh, here he comes. Roger, Roger, you're my younger brother. What? Be nice, dear. Mommy's got a live one. Oh, this is disgraceful. Oh, Roger, behave. Over here, Captain Calder. Here we are. Oh, there's my girl. Rex, I want you to meet my family. Who's a downright pleasure? My brother Roger and his wife Susan. Any of Elaine's family is my family. Of course. Elaine's told us so much about you. All lies, all lies. Ain't that right, Honeykins? Big old Rex just poured his heart out. Your sister sure knows how to make a fella right comfortable. She had a lot of practice. <laughs> oh, golly. If you ain't the spitting image of each other. Mm. We look just like our mother. Elaine, sugar pie, old Rex has got to check in. You know, take care of airline business. Remember, I'll pick you up around nine. Marvelous. Oh, I'll catch you later, sugar. Uh, Rog, you got a right fine sister. Yes, she's been like a mother to me. Ta-ta, Rex, darling. Ciao. Uh, <laughs> always hungry, ain't you? Adios, y'all. Incredible. And you're not even divorced. <laughs> Love this hotel. It's like a second home. Why not? You've honeymooned here enough. Are you certain? Charles, Peter, and uh, Armand. Oh, yes, Peter. Well, perhaps I'll get lucky this trip. Well, the odds are with you. Oh, don't be a grouch. Go to the office. Yes, go play with your law books and ships. <laughs> Mother, does Walt know you've left him? I hope so. Didn't you tell him? Well, not exactly. We were on his yacht, naturally. I excused myself to go to the powder room and I left. Just like that? Well, he was busy charting another hideous race. I left him a note. A very nice note. Why? Everything seemed to be going smoothly. After a year, I knew the tip-off came when he wouldn't let me redecorate one of the boats. Definitely grounds for divorce. That's it? No, the sailing was the coup de grace. The man lived for the water, except in his scotch. It is the most boring. 360 degrees of nothing. <laughs> and it's all around you. You can imagine what the salt spray did to my skin. I said to myself, babe, you have got to go. And I did. But you love Palm Beach. Not that much. It was depressing. What was depressing? Roger, do your thing. Run to the office and draw up the papers. <laughs> oh, Elaine, you're terrific. Radio Theater will continue after this message from your local station. If you think today's have once in a lifetime deals are gone, Bud Lamar's Dodge City West has got some great news for you. Because of the recent gas crunch, Bud Lamar's been moving an unbelievable amount of small cars. Even more unbelievable, the amount of mid size and big car trade in. He's been able to obtain at low cost. Now, because of this, Bud's able to offer you top quality late model cars at literally rock bottom prices. Now, listen to these examples. A 78 Cordova, full power and air, a vinyl roof, only $38.99. Or if the family's large, how about a 78 LTD Squire wagon with low mileage? Virtually a new car, just $44.99. Now, these are unheard of prices. And if you're think still thinking about gas, consider this. With the money you save from one of these cars, you could easily buy a full year's supply of fuel. Now, there'll never be another chance to buy such great cars at such low prices. So hurry on over to Bud Lamar's Dodge City West, 898 Manchester in Ellisville, where a once-in-a-lifetime deal is waiting for you. 
It's a stereo emergency. It's a stereo elimination. Wednesday, July 4th, Custom Wi-Fi opens its doors to the public from noon till 6 p.m. for the most incredible one-day elimination of audio and video in history. Nationwide, prices on over $4,350,000 of audio and video have been butchered, chopped, and cut beyond recognition. During this one-day emergency elimination, Pioneer, Technique, Sansui, Sony, Jewel, 60 famous name brands have got to be eliminated. It's the day to buy and save. Custom Hi-Fi's emergency elimination of $4,350,000 of audio and video. Doors are shut till noon Wednesday to prepare for massive price butchering. But promptly at 12 noon, Custom Hi-Fi's doors open to the public till 6 p.m. or until everything is sold, whichever comes first. Custom Hi-Fi wouldn't be open July 4th and selling at emergency elimination prices unless we had to. All four area custom high fives are open on the 4th of July. See the Tuesday Post for further details. Is Elaine Carmichael a whirlwind? Some girls don't get a tumble. And here she's married five times. Well, that's the curse of being an attractive woman. It should only happen to my cousin Selma. Oh, oh, her, her parents have taken ads out in newspapers since she was eligible. Not a nibble. Her father, my uncle Herbert, offers a package deal. A brand new car with gas, a washer dryer, and Selma. Now that's a fine opportunity. Till you see her. Whew. They cover the clocks at the post office when she comes in. But enough of my family's problems. See, Roger Carmichael's got some of his own. Dear, you're a wonderful son, but a little stuffy. Loosen up, boy. Get with it. Let your hair grow. Buy a sports car. Start to swing. He's a bit square, but nice. <laughs> oh, I can't fight the two of you. <laughs> now everybody out. Sister Elaine is going to Mr. Lothar for the work. Facial, pedicure, wash, and set. How about lunch tomorrow? Just us girls. I love it. Uh, where are you going with Captain Midnight? His club. Do I have your permission? Which club? The American Cross Dress Club. Now, Scoot. Cross Dress? Come on, Roger. I'll explain it to you in the car. What a drip. <laughs> Susan, stick with me and you'll be wearing diamonds yet. <laughs> Ciao. Now, where is my telephone book? Ah, oh, well. office? Is he in? He's with a patient. Who's calling? Elaine Carmichael. Does he know you? I believe he does. He was my first husband. <sighs> mm. Mm, Roger, stop it. <sighs> Roger! Keeping me awake. Oh, oh. Huh. Peter Markham, Chuck Williamson, Armand, uh, Walt. Roger, uh, you're dreaming. Oh, hi, Walt. Oh, that's nice. Elaine's learning how to fly. Wake up. Oh, oh, oh no. Watch out. She, she's machine gunning Armand's castle. Run. Run. Roger, wake up. Uh, what? What? What's the matter? The kids. You were having a nightmare. I was not. You were. Wasn't. Uh, Elaine was shooting or, or, or bombing Armand's castle. Really? Who won? Oh, don't be stupid. Well, at least you could have the decency to find out. I am not in the habit of eavesdropping. Oh, yes, I remember vaguely. She was strafing Armand's country home in the Ardennes. I, I think Texas Rex was at the controls. Susan, I am flipping out. This whole scene is getting to me. I may need analysis. Susan, am I insecure? Am I? Of course not. You're sure? Yes. That wasn't a very strong yes. What is going on? I'll turn on the light. Damn. Oh, swell. That's my favorite lamp. Was your favorite. Oh, golly, it's in smithereens. Uh, don't worry, I'll fix it. Here. Here, I got all the pieces. Nice job. Well, you told me to turn on the light. It's a two-party mistake. Don't get technical. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. I'll be all right. I'm all tense. Oh, Rog. Oh, I'm cracking up. This 
This episode with Elaine. Susan, it's wearing me down. Sweetheart, do you love me? Well, of course. Now, what kind of a question is that? And I love you. We have two wonderful children. A very good marriage and lots of blessings. I know. Sometimes in life we have to bear up. Be strong. Be mature. Yeah, but honey... Now let me finish. Elaine's problems, or maybe lack of them, need attention. She needs attention. That's just what we're going to do. Give her understanding and assistance. You aren't going to pieces. You will help Elaine pick up the pieces. In other words, the child becomes the parent. Huh. Why didn't I see that? Because you were too busy breaking a lamp. Good night, dear. Memo to J. Duncan Trowbridge, senior partner from uh, Roger Matthews. Subject, Brewster Shipbuilding versus Wincott Steel. Main body, the litigants have reached an out-of-court settlement. And... Oh, that's all right, Mrs. Graham. I'll get it. Hello? Roger, my lad. It's Walt. Walt Carmichael. Walt, I, I can barely hear you. Where are you? Using my ship to shore. I'm in the teeth of a storm. I know. Elaine's here. Uh, no, my boy. I, I'm fighting a gale off the coast of Cuba. You're at sea? Aye, aye. I'm coming for Elaine. Can't you fly here? Negative. This is more romantic. Sailing into the night, fighting the current, braving the unknown for my true love. Well, when are you arriving? Uh, difficult to say. We're going around the Cape. What? Cape Horn. Through the Drake Passage. Tierra del Fugo and all that. It'll take you weeks. Months. You want her that badly? Tell her the Admiral has set sail. Walt, can't you get here sooner? Talk some sense into her. And give up this adventure? Uh, I guess not. Uh, don't let her sign anything. I'll try. Tell her she can redecorate the Carmichael Maru in French Provincial. Sure. I can feel and taste the salt spray. The waves are cresting at ten feet. This is it, lad. This is where she belongs. I'll radio you again off the South American coast. Peace out. I'm coming. Admiral Carmichael, over and out. Oh, this is too much. Oh, I can't stand it. Hello. Raj, you sound terrible. Oh, uh, just a minute, Dad. Uh, we'll finish this memo later, Mrs. Graham. Thank you. Dad, you would not believe... Try me. Guess who's in town? I know. She called the office yesterday. Did you speak with her yet? No, I wanted to get a battle report first. She's left Walt. Eh, his loss is our loss. What are you going to do? First, recheck my divorce papers, and then perhaps take an extended vacation until the coast is clear. What do you recommend, Counselor? Sedatives. <laughs> Who knows? She's unpredictable. It can't hurt to see her. Uh, safety in numbers. We'll have dinner, but you and Susan will be there. Thanks a lot. Oh, don't be such a pill. Why is everybody down on me? Susan says I'm a sourpuss. Mother says I'm a drip. Oh, you're taking this too seriously. If she's not worried, why should you be? Uh, I guess you're right. We'll go to La Belle Aurora. It's her favorite, and Henri will make his usual fuss. <laughs> Dad, you're too understanding. Why not? Elaine's one of my favorite people. The perfect blend of Auntie Mame and Scarlett O'Hara. She's great company. As long as you're not married to her. Uh, I have no regrets. <laughs> it didn't work out, but that's life. Perhaps. You haven't had it so bad. All those sets of step-grandparents doting over you. Christmas was always a bonanza. Santa got a hernia bringing you toys. Mm, I suppose you're right. Yeah, of course I am. Well, you make the reservation. Seven sharp, but don't tell her. I'll be the mystery guest. A regular family reunion. Hey, why don't we get her a date? A great idea. Let me see who's in town and not in hiding. <laughs> These crepes, Superior. Have another. Oh, I'm stuffed. How was the club last night? Sensational. Susan, you've got to take Roger. The cross-dress club is the in spot. You rent everything right there. Dior, Chanel's, and for the women, they have military uniforms. Oh, just Roger's kind of place. <laughs> <laughs> what a pill. <laughs> anyway, scads of biggies were there. Movie stars, politicians, men I haven't seen in years. Uh, what did Rex dress as? Who? Texas Rex, the pilot. Oh, forget him. What a bore. He turned out to be a real quad. Anyway, my hairspray wasn't holding up, and I left about 2, 2.30. Oh, aren't you exhausted? Hardly. I'll sleep enough when I'm in Valhalla. Martine says I'm a cinch to get in. I don't understand. 
Oh, I didn't tell you. I called her this morning. The fortune teller? My psychic. My dear, her vibes gave me the chills. Sad news? The worst. I'm putting everything into Swiss francs. California's going into the ocean. <laughs> Comets are going to destroy Sioux Falls, wherever that is. <laughs> How can anyone fall for any of that? Her word is sacred. She sensed the breakup with that skin flint Armand de Stingy. I could have told you that. I have her do me once a year. She's the Mayo Clinic of the month. <laughs> oh, Elaine. I haven't told you the best. Number six? Not quite. She did see another love interest. A man with the letter S in his first name. Also water. A trip on an ocean liner. It's Walt. That's deja vu, not clairvoyance. My dear, she also saw you pregnant again. Ah, la bella Aurora. It's like being home. I know. We had several of your receptions here. Don't be snippy. Mon Dieu, mon Dieu, mon Dieu, can it be? Henry. Madame Champlain, you grace my establishment. Hey, no. Oh, pardon, pardon. Madame Williamson. Uh, you forgot. Il est mort. Oh, oh, of course. Madame Carmichael. <laughs> hey, oui. Oh, Henry cannot keep up with you. Neither could Mr. Carmichael. <gasps> He's gone too? In a sense. Eh bien. I have your favorite table. Asseyez-vous, s'il vous plaît. Merci. Oh, you look younger every year. Thank you. And how are Monsieur and Madame Matthews this evening? Never better. Tonight, a family reunion. You didn't. I did. There he is, my precious, my only true love. For 1936. Elaine. Bradley, darling. <laughs> you get handsomer every year. Susan, counselor. Isn't he gorgeous? That gray hair. How I could have let you go is beyond me. Yeah, true love after true divorce. Sorry I didn't return the call. I understand, my angel. All those society matrons flocking to you with slip discs and tennis elbows. You must be the rage of Beverly Hills. Dr. Matthews! Oh, it has been too long. Only since last Tuesday. Of course. <laughs> Henri prepares his speciality. Pressed canard. Salad Henri. Madame's favorite dessert. And I have just the wine. Thank you. <laughs> Bradley, remember when we first came here? 1966, after poor Chuck Williamson died. I cried my heart out to you. And left with Armand de Champlain. Don't remind me. Here we are. Caviar Blini. Oh, you shouldn't have. Why not? You are family, no? Vite. Le vin for Dr. Matthews. <laughs> ah, bien. Hmm. A superior. Uh, oh, 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 I almost forgot. I have a note for Madame Hélène. For moi? Have you been matchmaking again? <laughs> I am an incurable romantic. It is from the man seated on the banquet. La. The one wearing the sunglasses? May we? Read it. May I have the pleasure of your company for an aperitif later this evening? Signed, S. Here we go again. Martine certainly called this one. Who? I'll explain it to you in the car. Nearly everyone at our party mentioned our new Sears Dream Supreme carpeting. Did anyone say anything about my rutabaga dip? Marvin said Dream Supreme looks so thick and luxurious. He loved its velvety soft plush pile. What about my rutabaga dip? Eloise adored the color. Of my rutabaga dip? I told her that avocado lime is just one of Dream Supreme's 20 lustrous colors, and when Doris heard that Dream Supreme is so reasonably priced and treated with Scotchgard brand fabric protector... Okay, what about my tuna fish upside down cake? Dream Supreme carpeting in most larger Sears retail stores. The room held several Sears brass plated lamps, one switched on. The finely plated antique satin shade illuminated the furniture softly. Another lamp turned on, and another. The patio doors blew open. The green brass plated lamp nearby, with its heavy base built for stability, did not budge. The room glowed in the brassy elegance of these Sears best lamps command. Create your own hauntingly elegant mood with Sears brass plated lamps at most larger Sears retail stores. Sears National Automotive Values. Now get the Sears Heavy Duty Shock, just $9.99 each installed. Smooth out some of the jolts, jars, and jerks with America's best-selling shock. And get the Weather Handler, Sears all-weather steel-belted radial tire. As low as $29.88 plus $1.76 Federal Excise Tax on size P165 ADR13. Save 10%. This is the minimum national savings. Regular prices vary in some markets. Super Values at most Sears Tire and Auto Centers. Stop. A 
promise to fill you in on Chuck Williamson and Armand de Champlain, better known as Armand de Stingy. Well, after a discreet period of mourning, Elaine married Charles Lyle Williamson III, better known as Chuck to his friend. Old Chuck was an amateur magician and practical joker, a trait that irritated Elaine just a smidgen. You know the type. Exploding cigars, hand buzzers, squirt rings, real sophisticated stuff. However, let's get back to our story and find out what happens in this final act of Here Comes the Bride Again. Memo to J. Duncan Trowbridge, senior partner. Subject, Brewster Shipbuilding versus Swincott Steel. Main body, we have resolved the remaining issues between these... Don't touch it, Mrs. Graham. No news is good news. Now, let's just... Con oh. uh, let's go ahead. Now, between these litigants in a comprehensive... Okay, it's no use. Hello. George, my lad. Oh, no. Uh, uh, just a second, Walt. Uh, thank you, Mrs. Graham. We'll try to finish this later. Uh, yes, Admiral, what news? Are you off the Brazilian coast, or did you sink? Negative. Had to turn back. Snap the mainmast. I'm in Palm Beach. Hard luck, old salt. Ah, uh, you win some, lose some. Where's Miguel? Busy. Very busy. Constantly on the run. What's she up to? Sailing. I don't believe it. We could barely get her on the Walter Maru. Well, she's changed. Moonlight cruises, deep sea fishing. His yacht is never in port. Who's yacht? Who's she with? Spiros Anton, the Greek shipping tycoon. That old pirate? So he's dallying with Miguel, huh? Well, I'm going to call a halt to that. Well, you better hurry. They're sailing for Hawaii tomorrow. No, sir. Not with my wife. Elaine thinks she can get a quickie divorce on Midway Island. Uh, the residency requirements are a little vague. Negative. I won't let her throw herself into that sea scoundrel's arms. Then you better get here and stop her. I know him from way back. Race against him in 39. Oh, Rod, you should have been there. The sea cresting at 10 feet. The salt spray in my face. Two sea dogs fighting it out on the Atlantic. Terrific. But what about now? Tell her the Admiral is coming for her. Land, sea, or air? By air. I've never lost a gal or a race to Spiros. I'll board his galley and do him to the finish. Sure, you and Errol Flynn. She'll not cross his gangplank. I'll take the first plane out of here. Hoist the battle flag. Admiral Carmichael is on his way. Aye, aye, sir. Hello? Hang on to your hat, honey. Walt's on his way. You told him about Elaine and Spiro. Of course. Oh, she'll be furious. To borrow a line, my dear, I don't give a damn. Why must you meddle? She's having a great time. Roger, he may be the one. She happens to be married. Not legally, yes. Spiritually, no. Oh, honey, you're just enraptured with the whole Spiros Anton syndrome. His style of living, the intrigue surrounding his personal life and wheeling dealing. Absolutely. When somebody that fabulous takes an interest in Elaine, I get excited. They're planning to sail around the world. Uh, Walt will have something to say about that. Oh, don't spoil it for her. I'm not. I'm concerned. She's in a different league. It's her life, Roger. Let her have fun. Well, I guess you're right. I'll swim with the tide. Oh, that's the spirit. Oh, Rog, could we meet them in Europe this summer? If the romance lasts that long. Even the children? Certainly. Maybe Carrie can meet a duke or a prince. Uh, Elaine says royalty is out this year. Besides, Spiros has a younger cousin. Aha, uh -huh. there's the real story. Mm, it's only chit-chat. I hope so. Elaine thinks the Bon Voyage party will be the ultimate soiree. Everybody's going. I don't doubt it. Every bachelor for miles around, making certain she gets out of town. Quite a woman. That's what enchants Spiros. For the moment. Oh, no. Martine says, this was written in the stars. Weren't those Marie Antoinette's last words? <laughs> Dr. Matthews' office? I must speak with him immediately. He's with a patient. Tell him it is Henri in crisis. One moment. Emergency, doctor. Yeah, what's the matter? Madame Elaine. What? What's happened? She is here, despondent, ripping in her vichyssoise. Oh, that is bad. I'll come at once. <laughs> Memo to J. Duncan Trowbridge. Subject, 
Brewster Shipbuilding versus Winter. Where's Miguel? Oh, no. Uh, uh, thank you, Mrs. Graham. We'll finish this later. She's checked out of the hotel. This means a duel to the death. Will you calm I'll down? I'll split his gizzards. String him from the yard arm. Easy, Admiral. Then we gotta stop her. I agree. Now, look, let us just go to the yacht club. His boat is parked there. Uh, moored, boy. You moor a ship. More or less, whatever. Perhaps she's on board getting ready for the send-off gala. He abducted her. No such luck. Lead on. I'll pull out her with the pirates. If she's there, we'll sit down and talk like civilized people. Sabers on the poop deck. Oh, boy. <laughs> Oh, Doctor, not a second too soon. Where is she? Your regular table. Wearing a hat with a veil? Oh, boy, this is serious. Elaine? Oh, Bradley, darling. You all right? Not really. Bradley, I'm exhausted. La Belle Elaine is weary. Battle fatigue, it happens to the best. Am I doing the right thing? It's your decision. Spiros is quite a man. I'm not talking about him. You've lost me. I want to go back to Walt. What? I can't go on any longer. Bradley, I love him. Besides, he truly understands me. Well, what's the matter with Spiros? Nothing. He's mysterious and dynamic and all that, but I'm not getting any younger. Twenty years ago, no, five years ago, I would have run off with him like a flash, but, but now I've decided to stay married. Well, don't make any hasty decisions. I'm tired of always being up and on, of toting around cosmetics, running to hairdressers, worrying about the sags and bags. Besides, it costs a fortune to remain 30. I can't picture you settle down. Every true champion knows when it's time to step aside. I want to enjoy my 60s. They only come once in a life, for which we can all be grateful. But your trip with Spiros? I told him. He's so understanding. And the party? Oh, still on. A farewell dinner heralding my abdication. It's high time the younger women had a chance. That's very gracious. I'd like to attend someone else's wedding for a change. So would all of us. Do you think Walt would take me back? There she is. Relax. Please, let's not have a scene. Well, glad to see you, Bradley, old scout. Have you reasoned with her? I tried. Elaine, dear love, I won't let you throw yourself at the feet of that buccaneer. Let's get back together. Uh, yes, Walt. I'll sell the out. By a plane. We'll circle the globe. Lisbon, Moscow, you and me is written in the stars. Oh, that would be divine. Hey, you can decorate the plane. You can... What? You would? Are you ill, Bradley? She's sick? No, I think she's cured. Don't sell the boat. But you hate sailing. Only when we go round and round in one of those dreadful races. We'll take a cruise. Rio, Europe. Oh, everybody's done Europe. Let's have an adventure. Go somewhere where I don't have to wear makeup. Sail around South America. The Straits of Magellan. Why not? I won't have to impress penguins. Oh, what about, you know, uh, and the party? Oh, we'll cancel it. No. Let's get married again. Spiros can preside. He's a captain. Oh, what a romantic idea. Call Susan. Get the children. We have to rehearse. Forget your part. Don't be fresh. Henri Champagne. Madame is going to be married. <laughs> I didn't doubt it. Music. <laughs> are more super values from Sears. We start $100 off the price of our Craftsman 10-inch table and radial saws. Now only $279.95 each. And they saw cross cuts, bevels, and more. Sears Best Table Saw includes leg set, two extensions, and one horsepower motor. The radial saw has a one and a half horsepower motor and a single lever miter arm control. Hurry! Your choice, Sears 10-inch table or radial saw. Only $279.95 till July 21st. Prices and dates may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. It's another super value from Sears. The great summer savings go round clearance in women's fashions. Save 25 to 40 percent on looks that add savvy to summer. Give cool, colorful dresses a whirl. Be in the summer swing in shorts and tops from the budget shop. Find much more in our junior bazaar and Mrs. Sportswear departments too. The great summer savings go round. A super clearance while limited quantities last. Sears, where America shops for value. It's that time of year, America. Sears National Home Appliance Sale is on. Celebrate great savings on many Sears major home appliances. Save from $20 to $100 on selected Kenmore washers and dryers, refrigerators, dishwashers, color TVs, microwave ovens, vacuums, and more. So save big and hurry to Sears National Home Appliance Sale now. Sale ends July 28th. Dates may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. Kenmore, solid as Sears. 
All items available at most larger Sears retail stores. Radio Theater has been brought to you by Sears Roebuck and Company, where our policy is satisfaction guaranteed or your money back. Sears, where America shops for value. Here Comes the Bride Again was written by Ken Gerard, produced and directed by Elliot Lewis. Your host was Andy Griffin. Our stars were Harriet Nelson, Elliot Reed, and Linda K. Henning. Featured in the cast were Parley Bear, Shepard Menken, Sidney Swire, and Barney Phillips. The music for Sears Radio Theater was composed and conducted by Nelson Riddle. This is Art Gilmore speaking. The Elliot Lewis production of Sears Radio Theater is a presentation of CBI. Music 103, Cable XFM, St. Louis, 24 hours a day. CBS News. Administration officials say President Carter most likely will again suggest to Congress that it approve his plan for standby gasoline rationing. This is John Bohannon reporting on the CBS radio network. Mr. Carter will make a major energy speech Thursday night to America. Aides say he'll almost certainly revive his proposal for rationing and also set the production of synthetic fuels as a major target of his administration. President Carter will speak on radio and TV Thursday night at 9 o'clock Eastern Time. July's allocation of gasoline are reaching service stations, but tomorrow is the 4th, and some officials say some stations may be closed, especially in metropolitan areas. Amarada Hess said it has bought extra gasoline on the open market and will deliver 3,300,000 additional gallons this month to its stations in southern New York State, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Maryland, Delaware, Virginia, and Florida. United Refining, which serves western Pennsylvania and western New York State, says it's hiking its July production to nearly 1.4 million gallons a day of gasoline, diesel fuel, and heating oil. More on energy and other news in a moment. Why don't you pour on the sap? Pour on the sap. Pour on the craft. Barbecue sauce. Pour on the sap. Pour on the craft. Barbecue sauce. All right. Pour on the sap. Why don't you pour it on? Pour on the craft. Sandra Hammack of Corrales, New Mexico, tells how Western Union came to the rescue. Our son was rock climbing in Colorado, and he got back to his car, and someone had siphoned all of his gasoline. He called us and said he was out of money and out of gas and stranded. So I called Western Union, and he received the money. To send money, call Western Union toll-free and charge it to your master charge or visa account. Day or night, it's Western Union to the rescue. And I didn't have to leave my house. That was very good. Parts of the Midwest should be safe areas for driving and getting back, but there's a trade-off. More from Rich Holter of WCCO in Minneapolis. Minnesota Energy Director Al Johnson says holiday travelers should have no trouble finding gasoline in Minnesota, despite a 17% drop in supplies from a year ago. What concerns Johnson most is not a short wait in a service station in July, but home heating oil deliveries in February. And there, he says, Minnesota is headed for real problems. Right now, we are down in primary stocks right now, close to 30%. Over 700,000 barrels, where we should be in primary stocks. That's the critical figure. We've got 450,000 homes in this state that are heated with fuel oil. That's a scary figure. Johnson says Minnesota refineries have leaned toward the production of home heating oil and diesel fuel all along. But they need help from refineries elsewhere, which have turned to gasoline production. And he says if Minnesota and other cold weather states are to have the heating oil they need this winter, motorists will have to learn to accept the 17% gasoline shortage and conserve accordingly. Rich Holder for CBS News, Minneapolis. West Germany's parliament voted today to remove the statute of limitations on Nazi murderers. West Germany has extended the statute twice before, in 1965 and 69. It was due to expire at the end of this year, but this time the parliament voted to remove it completely. In New York City, Richard Cohen of the American Jewish Congress has this reaction. Some of the events that took place during the Nazi era will never be forgotten. There are many witnesses and many victims who managed to survive. And... The principle of accountability for one's deeds uh, remains an essential element of the social compact. I think that the West German 
Parliament has earned the respect of the civilized world for recognizing that fact. Richard Cohen of the American Jewish Congress, who says there's no question now that Nazi war criminals can be found and prosecuted. The government reported today that average salaries for certain white-collar occupations in private U.S. industry went up by 7.8% during the year ending in March, but the cost of living increased by 10.2% in the same period. Now this. Mom? Mm-hmm? Why didn't you show Bob's mother the new ring Daddy gave you? Because all she'd look at would be the brown spots on the back of my hand oh. and guess my age. Come on, Mother. If you're that sensitive, get some Porcelana. Some what? Porcelana. It's a medicated cream that helps fade age spots. Really? Porcelana. Works on age spots, brown spots, and freckled spots. Just rub it in and watch those spots start to fade. Porcelana medicated fade cream actually works to lighten brown patches and spots that come not only with age, but during childbearing years, too. Porcelana is available at cosmetic counters everywhere. Hmm, Porcelana. I think I'll try it. Sure. It'll help bring back your natural skin tone in just six weeks. How come you know so much about it? Bob's mother told me. Oh. Porcelana. Just rub it in, in, in. What spots start to fade, fade, fade? Porcelana medicated cream. Use only as directed. Police say two planes collided in flight tonight near the Millwood State Park area in southwest Kansas near Ashdown, Arkansas, and fell into Lake Millwood. Authorities say at least five people were killed. There's no word exactly on how many people were on board each.